Crypto arbitrage trading is a type of trading strategy where investors capitalize on slight price discrepancies of crypto across exchanges. That is, buying a digital asset on an exchange and selling it almost immediately on another exchange where the price is higher. Doing so, it means making profits through a process that involves little or no risks. With that being said, I welcome you once again to my channel, Wealth Alert, where I remain your great guide into making money through simplified tutorial on how to navigate the crypto space, how to invest in the crypto space prudently to earn profits. Stay tuned to learn more on how to perform crypto arbitrage with coin market cap. For those who are new to my channel, I have a video who, that have discussed we have discussed on coin market cap. Its link it's in the description box. And the link to also sign up the in the coin market cap is also in the description box. This arbitrage is done with volatile coins, not stable coins like the USDT BUSD. Volatile coin meaning coins that experiences a, a, a deep and a high. That is coins that fluctuate in prices. That is where you, that enables you to carry out this arbitrage. And also to effectively carry out this arbitrage, you will need to open your coin market cap on your browser. And you use your desktop view so you can assess information accurately. That is this coin market cap. There's an app for it. You already have the app, but you go to your browser, you input your information, and then you open your app on the browser. Then you now click on desktop view, which will enable you to have a clearer view of the information you need through the coin market cap on your browser. So we'll now proceed. Here's our coin market cap at the home page using the browser. So to carry out this arbitrage, we'll be using BTC for this arbitrage sampling. So you click on, you go to your search icon. Here's the search icon. You type in the coin that you want to carry out the arbitrage on. You search, you can type it in here. From here, you can see the coins I've searched out. So I click on my BTC. The BTC is still opening up. The network is not as fast as I expected. Our page is open. You can see all information you need concerning BTC, that is Bitcoin, is being displayed here. Also, showing you even the current price at the moment and other information as you so desire. So for this particular trade, you click on this market session. It has opened up. So it's now showing you Bitcoin market. That is the different prices of Bitcoin on the different exchanges in the market. Here are the different exchanges. That is the pair of, in which it occurs, either BTC T USD, BTC USDT, and the various prices. So you scroll up and you can now see that BTC TUSD on the Binance Exchange app goes for $27,186.83 on the Binance app. That is BTC TUSD. That is that trading pair. Then you can also see that on the KuCoin app, BTC USDT goes for 27,176 Naira 51 in USDT. So going to your calculator, you now have subtracting 27,186.83 from 27,176.51. It gives you a difference of 10.32 USDT. Meaning if you have a value worth of USDT, you buy from KuCoin at the rate of 
27,176. And you go and sell on Binance at this rate, you make a profit worth of 10.32 USDT. That's not all. You now look at it that buying this large quantity, large amount is giving you this little profit. But you look at it on the longer aspect. That is, you carry this particular trade multiple times in a particular day. That is, this is the profit you get. Then you multiply this particular profit, let's say, by 10 times in a particular day, which we give you, let's say, within an hour, within two hours, you keep continue carrying out this particular trade. And then including your gas fee, let's assume you have a gas fee of like, let's say, six or so dollars. You see that you end up making this particular amount of profit per day. That is if you buy as high as one BTC. But imagine now this same BTC you buy with lower amount, let's say 500 USDT. And let's assume now using 500 USDT, you make maybe a profit of like five dollars. So that five dollars using a lower amount of USDT and you multiply it by the 10, you make the same amount. And then you now subtract your estimated gas fee, let's say six USDT. You make this amount. So telling you that using this, your coin market cap, you can effectively carry out an arbitrage of crypto, of the particular coin you so desire, using the coin market cap to enter the market. That is, even if you are not a professional, that is one advantage that I also want to tell you about this particular trade. The advantage is of this particular strategy is that you don't have to be a professional investor or trader with an experienced setup in order to begin this arbitrage trade. All you need is to go to your coin market cap and check the different prices, the where it is higher, where it is lower. If you even take your time and you keep scrolling, you may still have other, other exchanges where you may still get higher prices or lower prices. Because the lower the price, just as I've been saying in my other videos, you make money on Binance when you buy low. So the lower the price you buy, and you go to an exchange where it is higher, you now make more money. And you can also see, using different pairs to get the BTC, you still have opportunity for other lower prices. Meaning you must not necessarily buy from one exchange to another. You can use one the same exchange that is on Binance. If you use Neo BTC, you get it at 26, 27,180.85. Then you now convert it back to USDT. You convert it back to USDT BTC, which is higher, and then you make your profit. So I strongly believe that this coin market cap arbitrage, with using this BTC, you fully understand how to carry out coin market cap arbitrage and make reasonable profits. I would like us to search out another coin. So we'll go back to our search icon and type in the coin. So the Solana that we are searching for is opening up and it's still loading. So using this coin market cap crypto arbitrage, you can carry out arbitrage on as many coins as possible. So we'll go back, we'll still click on the market. It's opening up. So it's showing you different exchanges where Solana is being traded along with their prices. So you can now see, you can now see that the same Solana on Binance, if you are to buy Solana BT, USDT, it goes for 1,500 and it goes for 21.23 and USDT. That is Solana USDT.
And on Bitrex, it goes for 23.2. Let me highlight it again because the marker pen closed the, uh, the price. It goes for 23.20. That is Solana USD on Bitrex exchange. It goes for 23.20. So what is telling you now is for you to buy Solana on Binance and sell on Bitrex and make profit. That is one Solana is equivalent to 21.23 USDT. So let's go to our calculator. On our calculator, we have 21.23 USDT to one Solana. Let's assume we buy 10 quantity worth of Solana, which is 212. So you note the price, which is 212.3 USDT. Then you now multiply it by the amount you get on Bitrex. Bitrex was 23. Let me cross check. Bitrex was 23.20. Then you multiply by the same $10 worth. So it gives you $232. So when you now subtract, that is, you buy $10 worth from Binance. You come to Bitrex to sell at $212. You sell. So when you subtract, that is 232 minus 212. You have a profit of 19.7. So tell you that aside using BTC, using Solana, you have made this particular profit on a, on a value of less than $300. You can see this less than $300 we used to make this transaction. And then when you now carry out this particular trade, like even three times in a day, you make this an amount per day. So why don't you grab this opportunity of crypto arbitrage using CoinMarketCap? So why don't you grab this opportunity and jump into your CoinMarketCap with at least a minimum of let's say 300 USDT? You are expected to make nothing less than 50 to 100 USDT profits on a daily basis. See you in my next video where we discuss more opportunities on making money from the crypto space. I'm out.